Hey guys, welcome to a brand new reaction video to me another reaction video. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Nipsey Hussle is basically like one of his little talks and shit. And the things he like talks about like waiting for karma and shit like that. That type of shit. That's what I like to learn because like it's interesting. It's interesting to learn and like me, I I I started learning this probably like 10th grade. That's when it started. When I was like losing weight, that's when it started. And then I really excelled just learning this stuff or that type of shit. Like a month after high school. I did more in three months about this type of shit after high school than I did in like three years. I, I did kind of know it in high school. So like, I, I kind of sucks ass, but. Dark chocolate, almonds, smacking. One, two, three, play. Dude, at that age, oh, you're like reaping them like yeah. massively right now. And that's been like a long time coming. Yeah, I, I remember also to, just to that point, like. And look. When MC died, I had no idea who he was. You know, the racks in the middle, I saw it on the homepage, it was kind of trending. I didn't really care about him. That's just me being honest. Not that I, oh, I didn't, they don't matter, but after somebody dies, that's when everybody cares. But the only celebrity that I did, like, no, no, was probably Paul Walker and X. Planting seeds and then reaping the benefits later. I remember, like, really being committed and being really pure with my, with my energy. And I was just only doing music. And I was like suffering financially, you know, I was, I was like probably smart 19, guy, smart 20 maybe. And I was used to being like a young adolescent baller, like yeah. just having, you know, for my age group, you know what I'm saying? Having sure. cars, jewelry, and money, and just having the attention and the respect of being somebody that was, you know, somebody that knew how to get dope. Yeah. And I was just in the studio so long that all that shit kind of faded. And I was, my ego was taking a hit and I wasn't familiar with that, you know? And, but I was still committed to the process. And then, um, you know, the police raided the studio and took all the equipment yeah. and put a gun on me that was in the house, a shotgun. It was, it was a registered shotgun, but I was on probation for a gun. So, you know, the probation says you can't be around no guns at all. So they, they booked me for the gun, took all my equipment, and I was really just in the house working. You know what I mean? Just like, they don't know that. Nobody yeah. know how pure you are but you. Yeah, yeah. And I was really pure at that time. I wasn't doing nothing but music. And I'm like, damn, you know, like, I was confused. Like, where did, where did the good karma? <laughs> if, you, if you're wondering why I'm like moving so much, because I'm fucking playing with this melon right here. All right, that, that, that's dumb. Yeah, dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where, does the, where do you get the, where does this shit come back around at? Because I was real committed. I, my, my money got short. That ain't stopped me. You know, like I said, my how I was being viewed changed. People kind of like act like I fell off a little bit, and I still stayed committed. And then on top of all that, I got raided, and they took all my equipment, and I, they put a new case on me. I was just confused about it. Once you start valuing a lot of like out outside perspectives or outside voices, yeah, I think I said this in another video, but it's, it's very freeing, and you can just do what you want to do. That's just. That's just my little like, dumb mind. Question and everything. Yeah. Like, damn, I don't, I don't really have no part of the game to embrace me for that. I don't have no mantras that I remember hearing. Imagine he would have started believing that, oh, he fell off. Imagine like his like subconsciously his actions would just start saying, oh, I did fall off. I think I just should just stop music. Racks in the middle wouldn't have came out. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, man. I ain't had no answer for that. Shout out. But, yeah. you know, it kind of discouraged me for a long time. And... But I had accumulated so much music. But I, from, from when I got rated, I stopped really recording every day and got back into hustling full time. Cause I'm like, I gotta fight a case now and I need a lawyer and yeah. I can't even really afford to sit in the studio like that. And um, probably like six months to a year later, um, a person named Johnny Shipes, he was, he was a, an executive at Epic Records. He had a joint venture up there at Epic, reached out to my people and was like, I want to sign in. And he, uh, I didn't make no new music from the time that I got rated to the time that he reached out. How old were you then? I was, I think, 21, 22. Okay. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I ain't going to the studio. I'm not doing nothing music related right now. I'm hustling. And he like, nah, man, you got shit that's fire, bro. I want to really make this shit happen. I just did Sean Kingston with Sean Kingston manager. They just put okay. up crazy numbers at Epic. The first round of music that Sean Kingston put out. Yeah. Um, Sean Kingston was pretty big. It, it, it's Sean Kingston the guy that says, You're way too good. Alright, chill out. 
the Philly fell, and so you know, I got a whole structure, bro. We got the radio plug, you know what I mean? And I was just off it. And um, he took songs off my MySpace and played them for Epic Records. They wanted to sign me off the old music and put a contract on the table and broke bread with me. And it was all our old work, and I realized, like, damn, this is back pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't do no new work. Yeah. This is all just reaping benefits from work I put in years ago. It's not hard work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it took a while to go through the process of coming back. I was I was expecting like to be protected because I was working and for nothing bad to happen. But that ain't how it came back around. It came back on its own time. Yeah. Because I didn't put no new studio energy in. I didn't record no new songs. It was just existing already. Yeah. And it was enough to get me out of my situation, then they put a check on the table, I'm like, all right, now I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> it's, it's real. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, just to your point of like, expecting the, the fruits, or you was like the, the, the fruits of the labor, we reaping them now, years later, that's what I learned is that. Plant the seed, right? You never like, man, you just let it grow. Let that, let that bitch ass hole grow. You don't know when it's gonna, you, know, you don't know when you're gonna be able to reap all the, all the earnings and all the, all the fruit, the, the fruit that the mangoes, you know, like the mangoes are fucking up. Oh shit. But what I was gonna show you was this mango before I dropped it. Like, you rip that shit later on. You never know when they're gonna, like, when they're gonna, uh, 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 goddamn, um, uh, goddamn, um, uh, play the video. Always get back to yeah. You never, you never can outrun your karma, good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Karma is always there. And this sucks ass, dude. That's why I don't like doing bad stuff to people. Cause like, what, but like, once I do something bad on accident, or like, let's say I do something bad, I'm like, fuck, that shit's coming back somehow. That shit is coming back somehow. And then it does. So when you do something good, don't expect to be like, oh, no, I'm gonna do this good just because it's gonna come back. No, just like, if it's out of your heart, do that, bitch. You know. I hope that you hope that when you die, people remember you for good, not wrong. You know. And yeah, dude, if you done wrong, just just overcome it by good, and more people are gonna remember you by good. You feel me? That's the end of today's video. Nifty Hustle, smart guy. That's everybody. A lot of people you guys should learn from him, or like follow his his mindset and shit like that. And yeah, dog. Peace out, A Town, bro. You can see my fridge right there, cause like I only have like this much space in the wall, and like I gotta like zoom in a little bit. I just said the video in the video, dog.